Making headlines this week on Bonang is the Equality Cup, which is a football game with different rules altogether, which of course are favoring women, and I love that. Secondly, we have the Fashion Week, where you're going to be seeing beautiful women and beautiful garments, and I hope you'll be marking those to see which ones you're going to be taking to the next events that you're going to. Thirdly, we've got bikers. These guys are known to be crazy, but this time they're coming in with a different cost, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm going out to Mutalakosi, and stay here with me for the next 30 minutes as we enjoy the journey together. Bonam, baby. Still to come on Bonam. Yes, the motive is to promote the local brand. This tournament has grown over the years. As you can see today, we had 16 local clothing brands. There's a lifestyle. Some, some guys ride on weekends, but uh, most of us here, most of us at Live to Ride, uh, this is our lifestyle. I mean, biking is what we're about. Coming up, Time out. This week we are out and about to locally organized Equality Cup tournament, a fun-filled day of soccer uniting men and women as equals. We at Bonang have been licensed with an all-access card to all the best events in the country. And yes, right now I'm standing at the Equality Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all the local brands represented here. I'm talking about Dilo Dilo. I'm also talking about, um, what's the other label? I'm talking about Lala. Follow me behind the scenes of the Equality Cup. It is a tourney with different rules where men are neither allowed to defend nor score. Only ladies have the privilege to do so. Each team had to be strategic with its players' positions. Local clothing brands were afforded the opportunity to dress the teams, a business opportunity for the young ones who are venturing into the clothing industry. Okay, tell me what really prompted you to start this event? Uh, a few years ago, it was started by a gentleman by the name of Miza, two gentlemen, Miza and my, my, my brother who is Tobo, and then they got us all together to come join them in making this event. Uh, we wanted to promote local clothing brands, so we got all, we got about six teams together the first year, which is yeah. three years ago, and then we decided to play soccer against each other. Is the motive to promote the local brand? Yes, the motive is to promote the local brand. This tournament has grown over the years. As you can see today, we had 16 local clothing brands, uh, uh, namely Chama Boy, Dilo Dilo, Puro, um, Monkey Class, Akumain, the list goes on. Zala. Zala. <laughs> tell me, tell me um, how you feel about the Equality Cup. Equality Cup is a very, very good thing if I may say myself because it uh, joins a lot of uh, local labels together so they get more, more and more recognition as a whole, yeah. So I think it's a very, very good idea and stuff, yeah. And it's like okay. a family fun day out, you know? Are you having fun? Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Which of these many teams is your favorite team? These teams, Puro. <laughs> Which team? Puro. Okay, tell me, have you bought any of the local brands? Uh, Dilo Dilo, All Gassi, any of the local brands no, at all? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Our sponsor, 90 Minutes, though, the magazine. Okay, cool. That, it's a good magazine. <laughs> Ladies looked hot in their kits, although they were struggling on the pitch as the matches progressed. Some got injuries, mostly muscle pull, a common injury to an unfit footballer. But they did enjoy themselves as it was all about fun, gender equality and keeping themselves fit. Are you injured? Yes, I just pulled a muscle on my thigh. So you're a true soccer player like that? Yes, yes. I love for, I love for. Are you going back in? I want to, I want to. Definitely, definitely. Which position are you playing? I'm the defender. You are the defender? You make sure that no goals go in? No goals, never. Okay, are you winning? We are, we are. We, we won our first two games. We're going to win again. Baby, what does this event mean to you? Um, it's just, you know, a lot of fun, you know, something for the youth to do. 
you know, support local brands, you know, our own like, you know, youngsters, youth, pushing themselves, making their own businesses out of t-shirt labels. So it's just a fun event that we can have, you know, something to do on a Saturday. And I think it's actually quite nice. What was I going to do on my Saturday afternoon instead of coming and play football? Wow, big up to you because I know people like you usually are very busy on a Saturday afternoon and <laughs> I, I knew you'd be part of this. I knew you'd be part of this. So tell me, which team are you playing for? I'm playing for Monkey Claws. Are you guys winning? Yes, we are actually. We're through to the semi-finals. I'd be so disappointed in you if you didn't win. I scored a goal right now, so I can I can do this. Although I have a couple of broken nails, but it's, it's much fun. I really I really enjoy being here today. People graced the event. They liked the idea behind the Equality Cup, and those who played had good things to say about the cup. Tell me about the Equality Cup. Why are you here? I'm here because my team was playing. I run Gap City, baby. I was here because she's my best friend and I was supporting her. Wow, in the name of friendship, how beautiful. You guys look beautiful. Thank you. Okay, tell me, what does this Equality Cup mean to you? Um, can I be honest? I just came for the fun. I have no idea. So it's fun. There's nothing wrong with that. Fun, clean fun. I think it gets, it gives um, these guys with all these labels a chance to show us what they have. Okay, tell me, how are you feeling right now? Oh, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Talk to the people at home, talk to my people. No, I'm really enjoying myself here, babes. Okay, what does the Equality Cup mean to you? <laughs> Which team are you vouching for right now? I'm a, some, I, I, I don't really know the name of the team, but it's called Guy. This guy. guy doesn't know the name of his team. Nah, honestly, I don't. Oh, okay. Tell me, Scott, which team are you playing for? Um, I'm playing for a team by the name of uh, my BW Space. It's a young guy who has a record label. Well, not well. He's trying to put together a record label, but he also has a website. Okay, love. I know you've been an artist forever. Now tell me, the Equality Cup brings in a lot of local artists with local brands. Yeah. What what, what difference do you see them making? Um, with the Equality Cup, at least it means for a, if Nalo and in any kind of competition, we can actually work it out on the field. This means I go up and I go you got your label, you got your Bungato label, I got my Scar label. And then at least, you know, we have some type of dialogue amongst ourselves. Okay, on a, on a very serious note now, what do you think the young people could learn from this event? Um, basically, this is one of the, those events that uh, we're just trying to get like young people out there to just do something more like, you know, besides drugs and all that stuff. So I believe that more and more young kids should jump onto such uh, events of this nature. Tell me about your set. I want to know about your set. Oh, my set. My set was just basically simple. I did it with DJ Ozzy the Great, and it was just inspired by sporty stuff. We're doing it for the ladies. It was strictly a ladies' theme. That's how I do it. That is so unfair. You had the man. He's only doing it for the ladies. I'm speaking for the men. Why only the ladies? Yes, you know. No, it's just because it's an equality, equality cup, right? So it means 50-50. If I cater for men only, there's nothing equality about that. So the ladies were screaming? Yes. If they were not preoccupied with, you know, by other men, but yeah, basically that. It is upon the youth to live a healthy life and that can only be attained through such a platform like Equality Cup, where youngsters meet and enjoy each other's company and respect discussing business as well. A business and gender outing that was well planned. La Dolce Vita. Coming up after the break. A lifestyle. Some some guys ride on weekends, but uh, most of us here, most of us at Live to Ride, uh, this is our lifestyle. I mean, biking is what we're about. Hey, this is Kenyon Ba, the Queen of Bling, and you are watching Bonang. Hi, my name is Nunu Ramoroti of Masonoko coming, and you are watching Bonang. Yo, what's up? This is AKA, and you are tuned into Bonang. Keep it locked right here on BTV. Don't go anywhere. We out. Coming up, Fashion Diary. Fashion Week is a fashion industry event. 
lasting approximately one week, which allows fashion designers, brands or houses to display their latest collection on runway shows. Buyers and the media analyze the latest fashion trends at these events. Bonang brings you a snippet of our very own Botswana's Fashion Week. I would say the location was out of this world, a fashion show by our three chiefs. It was well said. Models came in all shapes, hairstyles, tattoos, anything you'd think of for such a fashion display. Our fashion designers today know how to put colors together. The pink designs worked perfectly with the night theme created by this designer. Unfortunately, the wind nearly ruined her show when the models struggled to walk properly. <laughs> The silver and pink or purple silk designs by Gisaboni were also hot on the ramp, as her models did justice to her creative sci-fi work. Denim like designs mixed with green colored patches like pockets were a favorite with the audience as Tiro created a new illusion of funky, casual wear. He showed us that his marvelous hands on fashion designing are going to pay off in no time, especially when the boys rock the ramp topless.
Another designer, Carissa, had great nightgowns that will wow dinner dance fanatics tomorrow, including bridal wear for the brides to be. I guess to be a fashion designer takes more than just cutting a cloth. Mm hmm. <laughs> Fashion is indeed a comic world filled with overblown characters that are tantalizing to some and odious to others. All in all, our fashion industry is growing to an extent that some of our designers are competing internationally. A good thing for Bonang as we get to tag along with our fashion gurus around the world. Yes. Still to come on leisure and lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. Some, some guys ride on weekends, but uh, most of us here, most of us at Live to Ride, uh, this is our lifestyle. I mean, biking is what we're about. Don't be confused by the fakes and the phonies. This is Dan Dada, the original, the one and only. Yeah, you're watching Bonang. Yo, you're watching Bonang, and it's not your girl B. It's straight Bonang on BTV. Hello back at your boy, Don Juan Bach, you're straight representing Octave Cool Play. This is Emma Warriors, and you're watching Bonang. Coming up, leisure and lifestyle. People might say riding motorbikes is leaving on the edge or bikers are outlaws. But today we are bringing you a whole new meaning to a biker's life as we follow a local biker's club called Leave to Ride in Khabaroni. It's a lifestyle for me. I ride bikes, I have a bike shop in Gabs. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's, it's my lifestyle basically. Well, you basically answered my next question. This is a lifestyle for you. Yeah, it is a lifestyle. Some some guys ride on weekends, but uh, most of us here, most of us at Live to Ride, uh, this is our lifestyle. I mean, biking is what we're about. Is it dangerous? Mm, sometimes. Um, you know, obviously you've got cars, you're dealing with cars. I think there's a lot to, to, to educate people. That's eight years. Wow. That's like forever. Well, that doesn't seem like, uh, well, you didn't ask me how old I am. <laughs> is this a sport or it's lifestyle? It's sport, lifestyle, hobby, pleasure, relaxation, and we do as much as we can for charities. Street bikers ride for fun unlike mountain bikers or roadies. A more upright riding position distinguishes between these bikers due to the type of motorbikes they usually use, for example, the famous Harley Davidson. Cruisers are often custom motorcycle projects that result in a bike modified to suit the owner's ideals and as such are a source of pride and accomplishment. Today, we see plenty of them in Khaburuni. Bike comes from Dubai, actually. I uh, bought it there and uh, shipped it over here, and now I'm riding here for the last year. What's the name of the bike? It's Harley Davidson. Wow, uh, okay, is there different Harley Davidsons? This is a Sportster. It's the, the baby Harley Davidson. It's a Sportster 1200. These days, sport bikes are also seen on the streets for leisure, just like your fast Bima Coupes. For the riders, it is all about the look, feeling, speed, acceleration, braking, and cornering on paved roads that make them love their road toys to such an extent that the bikes have names. How comfortable is a motorbike? It depends. Your, your, your super bikes are... I wouldn't say comfortable, uh, but you get used to the style of riding, you lean forward. Uh, this one, yeah, you, you're in a more upright position, uh, which is a much more comfortable ride. 
Uh, whereas as the super bikes, the cruisers like this, this is more a more laid back ride, you know. Your Holly Davidsons and stuff. But it's you know it's it's, it's horses for courses, you know. Uh, people like scramblers. They like cruisers. They like. Uh, 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 super bikes, super bikes is speed, that's what it's all about. What's like the best motor bike right now? We we are riding for different reasons. Mm. So I cannot tell you, I can't I can't say to you a Honda is the best because I might I'm riding for comfort, uh, comfort, fuel consumption and those things. Somebody else will be riding for speed. Will like be a speed freak. He's just riding. He doesn't care. His pocket is 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 has got a deep pocket, so he, he fills up all the time. And, and 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 some other people are riding long. Like this is a long distance. When there's fuel, you can start this thing in from Cape Town. You'll end up in Cairo. As long as there's fuel, you'll you'll go anywhere. Do you have a special name for your bike? A special. A special name. Some of them call them Babe. I've heard all sorts of names today, but do you have a special name for your bike? I, I've owned different size bikes in my life. This is my 27, and, and I call it the bus because it's so huge. Yeah, this is a chopper. It's a chopper. Uh, this is my best girlfriend. Touring motorcycles, sport bikes, cruisers were the order of the day here at Revolk. The bikers were also dressed in their leather attire to show off their culture to everyone who was passing by. In most cases, mainstream motorcycles associations have elected officers and directors. That's how big it is. Okay, now let's talk about your badges. This is very interesting here. I'm seeing a lot of guys with badges and different stuff. What is this? What is all this? Well, this is basically, these are the rallies. If you this, Well, let me start at the back. Okay. I mean, this is, this is We're patch. going to the back. We're going to the back. The lift to ride is the patch that I fly. In other words, it's who I belong to. It's the MC I belong to. Um, then, obviously, most of the badges that I've got on my jacket are rallies that I've attended and I've been to in South Africa. And um, I'm the vice president of the club, as you can see, and my name. And that's basically it. Is there a particular reason as to why we wear these jackets when we're biking? Uh, it's not to get uh, injured. It's for safety. Are there any other safety precautions in biking? A helmet and gloves. You have to you have to wear that, otherwise um, you can get very sore, maybe fall. It's uh, very dangerous. How long have you been riding? Uh, about eight years. have a bike actually I don't I'm not even a biker I don't know how to bike I don't know how to ride rather but I just thought you know it's a great initiative he hasn't really taken me out of it just because I can't ride but I've got great friends who bike. I'm actually looking for a friend of mine here but I can't find him yet Pimelo where are you dude oh sorry 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 I didn't say <laughs> okay lastly what would you say to the young people out there who are interested in the whole biking sport Get somebody to teach you and or start with a small bike and learn how to ride. Because the mistake that people do, they go out and they buy like a super bike. You know, bikes is a super bike, cruisers, tourers, off-road, whatever. A guy will go and buy a, a super bike and they, they are going to kill themselves. I mean, the Suzuki I had, which is a super bike, it used to do 162 in first gear and you have four, five more gears to go. So it's not a joke. You are going to die if you don't know what to do. Riders in the bikers community share something that is hard to find in any other walk of life. Motorcycle clubs vary a great deal in their objectives and organizations. They are also known to be doing a great deal of charity work. Hence, we joined Leave to Ride when they were donating blankets to the underprivileged at Riverwalk Mall. Guys, as you can see, I'm rocking a Harley Davidson. It's not only about the Harley Davidson, it's about the importance of giving away. These guys have actually come together, brought in their blankets, food and stuff to come and give to the underprivileged. How beautiful is that? Um, it's for charity. It's the blanket run for the orphans. We, take, we do it every single year. And the organizer of it is Live to Write, Matt Caslin, who's actually the person who, who does all of this. And it is a very, very worthy cause. Everybody should be doing this. 
What did you personally bring? Okay, we brought lots of blankets. If you have a look at the trailer over there, you'll see that the admission for today's ride is actually a blanket per person or a hundred pullers. So this is not a ride for fun. This is actually a ride purely for charity. Um, we were very blessed to have our South African people who came up to join us as well, which is fantastic. I'm thrilled about it. A couple of years back, we collected food for, for orphans and, and often um, home, and we collected food for to give them lunch for a whole year. And um, we do the toy run, collecting toys for orphans. So we, it, it makes us feel good doing charity work. I mean, you know, if you think about it, you know, it's just a hundred pool or two hundred pool out of the, once a year. I think people can afford it. Oh, can I, can I get a ride? Wow, guys, wow, okay. I couldn't have been more excited just to fill one of the rides after all. What really sets the good ones apart from the rest is the rides, the scenery around the events, the people we meet, and of course, the leisure we enjoy at Bonang. Ladies, aren't you just drooling over the bikers? More so that they are a responsible bunch of gentlemen. Anyway, there are only two ways to live your life. One, do not miss an episode of Bonang on Thursdays at half past nine BTV. Two, dress up for themed events. Do not mess up on that one. Let's meet again in the world of glitz and glamour next week. La Dolce Vita, baby.